Welcome to MacBreak Studio. I'm here with Mark. And we're going to talk about some proxy workflow. Yeah, yeah. Now, we've done, we've, we've done an episode on proxy workflow. Um, but it was the wrong Well, it was a little different. It was, it. it was a while ago, and it was also a different scenario. Um, that was a scenario in which you had not already created proxies. And right. you wanted to go on the road, and that's frequently the case, that you're working on a project, and you don't need proxies locally, you're on some big raid like we have here, right. and then you want to go on the road so you can create po proxies by targeting a travel drive, right. and it'll generate those proxies in the travel drive with no original media, and you can travel with your proxies. Great. However, what if you already have proxies? Is there a way that you can get those proxies onto the travel drive without the original media? Because it would save a lot of time versus having to regenerate all those proxies, especially on a big project. Right. All right. So that's a scenario, and I want to give a shout out. Good to, setup. Well, and I want to give a shout out to Mark Bach, who who responded to us and said, "Hey, here's here's a way you can do this." I tested it, and I agree with him. I, it works, and uh, so I want to show it to you. Yeah. Okay. So get to showing. Uh, okay. So that's a scenario, but I just want to show you. See, here we have. I'm working on, here's my project, so you can cut to show my screen. I have a, a project that's a, about this hotel in Buenos Aires. It was shot on a GH5S in 4K. And in fact, if I just select a random clip, in fact, I'll go to my video clips and select a video clip. You can see there are 4K clips. Mm -hmm. And um, video, good uh, video. I also have proxies. Okay, so let me just show you a few things. I'm going to select the library itself. And in the library inspector, we can see that the library itself is on the 750 SSD. That's what it means up here. This is the location of the library. Right. You okay. can see it down there too. No? Your library. No, this is the media and content. The only place that shows you where the library itself is, is right here. Oh, okay. Right. Or, of course, you can right-click on the library and show and choose Reveal on Finder, and that will show you in the Finder, like, there it is on my desktop. Okay, so that's on my laptop. Now... The storage location for the media is in a folder called media. And then I, okay, well, where the heck is that? Like, the only way to really find that out is if you click on, sorry, if you click on modify settings, and then for media, you go to choose, it will show you that that media is sitting on the Pegasus that we have sitting in front of me. Okay, so all my media is sitting on this Pegasus machine, um, as is the cache. I won't bring it up there, but it's, it's there. In fact, oh, here's an even faster way. I just mouse over it. Volumes, Pegasus, Buenos Aires, and here, Volumes, Pegasus, Buenos Aires, <laughs> Media. It's even bad. faster, okay? Yeah. Just mouse over it there. So, in fact, I don't know if you can still do it. You used to be able to mouse over right here. You used to be able to mouse over right here, and it would show you that same path. Hmm. But you don't have to click Modify Settings. So the point is, this is a library with external media, and all the media is sitting on this big, fat Pegasus. Now, I also have proxies. Um, and the way that I can show you that I have proxies are, are a couple of things. First of all, if I select the video smart collection and then I select all the video, command A, and we scroll down in the inspector, we can see the little green dot next to proxy. So it says proxies exist right. for all of our video. Um, another way is if I actually go out to the Pegasus, and just to show you, I'll command click up here, we're on the Pegasus, and I open up proxy media by holding the option key down, we spill it open, there's our proxy media. Okay, and finally, back in Final Cut, under the view pop-up menu, I'll switch to proxy media. And in fact, there so, we go. Yeah, there's okay. proxy. So, and the scenario is, hey, I've got a lot of, you know, 4K material, and I just want to work with proxies, even on my Pegasus. Sure. Uh, so I already have the proxies. How do I get them onto this little travel drive? So I want to be able to leave my house and just take the proxies with me or leave my office. So how do I get that done? So this is kind of interesting uh, how you make this process happen. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the finder and uh, I have on the left side my Pegasus and I have on my right side my travel drive. And I have this folder called road here. I'll open it. So the only thing I want here is my Final Cut proxy media. So I'll copy that over. And then the key thing to know about proxy media, it doesn't include audio right. and it doesn't include any stills. So you want to copy those over as well. I don't have any audio in this project. I do have some stills. So if I option click to open up all my original media, I can see there's a still there. So I'm going to add it to over there as well. Okay. So key thing is you need audio and stills. So now I've got my proxy media on the travel drive, but how do I get, uh, 
my library to see it over there. That's mm. the trick. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the RAID. First, I'm going to quit Final Cut and disconnect the RAID. That's really the trick here. So I'm going to disconnect the RAID right here. And let's also copy the library to the travel drive, just so we have everything on that travel drive. And I'll open up this copy of that travel drive. And the RAID's on the, And the RAID, the RAID's, it, everything's going to be offline because that is still referring to the original location of the media. So it's going to be upset. Not only is it missing proxy, it's missing everything. So what we're going to do is we're forced actually to retarget where this media lives. So I'll click choose and I'll go to my proxy drive, sorry, my travel drive and select this road folder that I've moved that into and we'll do the same thing for the cache and click OK. Now, here's the trick. It still doesn't see the proxies. Nope. Right? If we go to view original media, we could relink the media. Sure. I'm not going to do that right now. But it doesn't see either of them. But I'm gonna, while we're still here, I'm going to, with the library selected, sorry, with the event selected, I'm going to go to the file menu and choose delete generated event files. You could actually do this at the library level as well, right. but I only have one event. And I'm going to delete the proxy media. You might say, oh my God, that's going to delete all the proxies we just copied. But it won't. It won't delete anything. Now, I'm going to quit Final Cut again, and I'm going to reconnect the RAID. And the reason I'm reconnecting the RAID is I want the originals to be online again. Okay? And this is, we're kind of tricking Final Cut. It's going to see the originals. We're going to create proxies, but it's going to go to create them and see they're already there. Ah, okay. and That's kind of the that's, trick it's, it's going to go that's through. That's what it is. So I'm, going to, I'm just waiting for that uh, RAID to show up again. There, no, let's give it a minute. There it is. Okay. So let's open up our library that is on the um, travel drive. It'll show up still offline, I bet. No, online. Because it's, it's pointing to the proxies that are on your RAID still, probably. Well, we're looking at uh, original media right now. Oh, yeah. Okay. So if we go to proxies, it's still all offline. Right. However, let me just go back to original media. We're now going to tell it to generate proxies. And here, here's where you have to have the event selected. You can't do this on the library level. So we're going to say transcode media, create proxy media. And the thing is, it's going to look into the original location. Notice there's nothing happening in our task, background task window. Yeah. Okay? So, but if I go to view as proxies, oh. there they all are. Interesting. So I'm in proxies mode and I have proxies. So, and if I select any one of our clips, we can see right there proxy media because we already have the proxy media existing on the travel drive. Now, the real test to really it's, prove it's this unmount is, the uh, RAID. Uh, unmount the RAID. So let's do that. Let's unmount the RAID. Okay, the RAID is gone. I will unplug it also. It's to, it's, mm -hmm. That RAID is gone. The RAID is gone. Mm -hmm. And we will reopen that library on the travel drive. So now it's just us and our travel drive. Okay, so now we're online with our... Um, Originally, with our proxy media, no, we're actually no. Oh, that's because, right, because you didn't transfer. Yeah. So if I go original. to if I go to original media, it's all offline because right. I'm traveling now. But I do have proxy. Okay. The only thing, the only issue is remember we've got I've got that one graphic that I need to reconnect. So any audio or um, graphics that you that you have, I'm not quite sure why this one says it's missing because it's not missing. It's it's showing right there. So I'm gonna have to manually relink one file there. But I'll take the graphic here, file, and it maybe it's still working on uh, oh, my optical flow analysis. I have a lot of speed ramp changes on here. But I'll reconnect my one clip here, relink files, and select that, and select my travel drive. And there we go. Everything's back. So you do need to um, copy over your stills and your audio files right. and relink those manually. But it's a way to get existing proxy media uh, onto a travel drive with no original media. And it works. It, it totally works. Just have to remember that uh, um, 
here's the key. You have to remember to select the event, not the library. Well, if you select a library, it's not available to transcode media. Right. There's no, you can't, you can't transcode right. media right. on a library level. So that's all. The main thing is that you, um, you tell it to delete the proxies on that travel drive, but it doesn't delete them because it doesn't really know they're there. Yeah. But it just sets it up to be, it allows you to create proxies by doing that delete process. Right. So that's, the, that's it. So what we can do <laughs> that's is... That's um, the most... <laughs> <laughs> it's actually pretty oh, simple. I know, it's simple. It's like, it's... he's just tired. It's not that hard. It's really not that hard. I've got it. It's like in seven steps. I'm going to put him in the description below. Okay? <laughs> put him in the description. It's seven steps. It's easy. Can I bang my head it's on this desk? It's easy. You drag the proxy oh, over. <laughs> you drag your audio and your graphics. <laughs> okay. You're done. Um, it's a great way to get all your proxies all right, on Travel so, Drive. so, Apple, can you please... Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> we know that there's some issues with proxy workflow, and you know there's some issues with proxy workflow. Yeah. Okay. But, but we're going to add this... <laughs> we're going to add this to our media management tutorial set as an additional... Yeah. So that's part of... If you guys have bought media management, you'll get this. So it'll be in there. And then if you haven't bought it, when you do... <laughs> It'll be in there. <laughs> that sounds great. Thanks, Mark. And thanks for watching another awesome edition of MacBreak Studio. See you next time.